My name is Marta Escutia, and I'm Vice President for State Government Relations and Special Counsel. Thank you to the USC Staff Assembly for allowing me to say a few words. I'm speaking to you from our local treasure, El Pueblo de Los Angeles. Did you know that Los Angeles has always been and continues to be a very Latino city? The Spaniards administered the city, but the first mayors and council members were largely indigenous Mexicans and Afro-Mexicans. The Afro-Mexicans who migrated from the coastal state of Sinaloa, Mexico, played a critical role in the founding of Los Angeles. And one of the children of those families, Pio Pico, was the last Afro-Mexican governor of California. But our past is far more complex than just Spanish or Mexican California. Several cultures resided here in El Pueblo. The original indigenous people, the Gabrielino and Fernandeños, followed by the Spaniards, the Mexicans, the Afro-Mexicans, the Chinese, and the Japanese. And it didn't stop there. Many Midwesterners moved into what is now Boyle Heights. There's a reason why I grew up with neighbors with names like Popovich and Fujioka. There's a reason we have Japanese temples in Boyle Heights and the largest Serb Croatian cemetery in the state, where both Serbs and Croats lie peacefully together. And just like we have the churches of Resurrection, Lourdes and Tampa, we also have one of the largest Jewish temples in LA, the Breed Street Shul, which is a reminder of the Jewish roots of the Boyle Heights of the 1920s. Let's fast forward to 2020. And although Latinos earn the lowest wages in the country, Latinos still have the highest labor force participation rate and are making great inroads into the higher education system. That's what I call resilience, what we call in our community, ganas. Hope and ganas, what a great combination to sustain us into the future. Let us not forget that our city's original name is Nuestra Señora, La Reina de Los Angeles de Porción Pula, the City of Angels. As we face the challenges of today, I know that our hope will carry us forward. Why do I know? Because we listen to our better angels. Viva nuestra comunidad y adelante. Muchísimas gracias.